right, boys and girls, welcome back to virtual art class. I hope you had a very happy holiday and welcome to the year 2021. Now, for the entire month of January, we were actually gonna be completely on the computer again. Now, that does make me really sad that we're not gonna be able to be face-to-face -face and do a lot of these projects together, but we just gotta make it work for right now, okay? But I have a really cool project for us to do today because today we are talking about superheroes. Now, you at home can probably think of a ton of different kinds of superheroes. You can think of some of the Avengers, maybe some Marvel comics. There are a bunch of different kinds and they look a bunch of different ways. But at home, I want you to go ahead and be thinking about what a superhero does, what do they look like, and maybe they wear some crazy colored costumes, maybe they have superpowers, maybe they can fly or shoot lasers or do all kinds of crazy stuff. But I also want you to think about if you've ever seen a superhero in real life, because not all superheroes wear capes. A lot of them can kind of just look like really normal people. And at the end of the day, I want you to know that a superhero is someone who puts other people's needs ahead of their own, okay? So that way, superheroes exist all around us and they just look like normal people. But this week, we are gonna be designing our own superhero, okay? Now, I'm gonna kinda walk you through the basic part of it, but then you're gonna be able to add any detail you want to it. You can add any crazy costume details, any colors, it really doesn't matter. You can make it your own, but I'm gonna walk you through the beginning part, okay? All right, now for us drawing a superhero, we have already practiced drawing people in the past, okay? So this is nothing new. We're gonna break it down a step at a time, okay? All right, we're gonna be using the exact same materials we were using last year, which is pencil, paper, something to color with, okay? So when we're starting out with our superhero, I think we need to start out with the head and then move on to the rest of the body, okay? So kind of towards the top of my paper here, I'm gonna do a big U shape for the head. Boop. And maybe add a curve on the top. Now you also need to decide before we get started if you want your superhero to be a boy or a girl because there are boy and girl superheroes. So you can kind of decide any way you want to. All right, but you always need to start off with the head and then we're gonna kind of work on the body. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add two straight lines under the head and that's gonna be the neck. You can't see that, that's very small, it's fine. <laughs> I'm gonna add a kind of a big square for the torso or the top part of the body. Okay. And then you need to add the legs or the bottom part. You can kind of decide if you want your person to be wearing a skirt or pants or dress. It really doesn't matter. I think I'm gonna just do pants. So I'm gonna start off with, let's see, how should I do pants? I'm just gonna kind of start off drawing like another square at the bottom. This will be the top part of the pants. There, so now it looks like I kind of have two squares on top of each other, and I can go ahead and add the legs. So I'll add two straight lines coming out of the side, and then a little foot at the bottom. Now you can do a foot a bunch of different ways, but I like to keep it just as a circle to keep it kind of basic. Okay. All right, I got one leg and one shoe. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. There we go. And I'll add a little circle for the foot at the bottom. Okay, now we got the head, the body, and the legs, but I also wanna add some arms. Now I think what I'm gonna do is, have you ever seen like a superhero pose? It's where you take your two fists and you kind of put them on your hips. Have you ever seen that? It was really popular in Superman, I believe. So we're gonna be kind of doing a superhero pose. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna, if I'm gonna have bent arms, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start at the top and I'm gonna do a bent line, kind of like whoop, going out and then coming back in. And I'll do the same thing on the other side. Go out, come back in and stop. I didn't touch the body when I came back in because this is just gonna be the arms. Okay, 
So it kind of looks like two little angles coming out of the side. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to, let's see, how am I going to add the hands? I'm going to kind of make it simple and just keep it almost like a fist. So it's going to be kind of rounded. I'm not going to go ahead and draw all the fingers. I'm going to keep it kind of simple and have it be in a fist. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a little circle kind of on the end right here. There we go. And that's going to be the fist. Okay. All right. So now I have two kind of like the outline of the arm and the fist. But they kind of look like stick arms. They need to be have two lines, one, two. Because if it was just a straight line, it kind of looked like a stick man. So I'm going to go at the end of the hand, and I'm going to go back up and come in. And now, all right, you see the difference between, let me get you nice and close. You see the difference between these two arms now? This is kind of a stick arm. It doesn't really look really real. But this one has two lines. And so now it looks like an actual arm. So I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. I'm going to start off where the hand was, and I'm just going to add one, two, there we go. All right, coming along really good so far. So I had a head and body, two arms and two legs. Now what I need to do is I'm going to add some detail to the face. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and add two eyes. I'm just going to do two little dots for the eyes, one and two. I'll do a little curve for the nose and a smile. Okay. Now, after you have all that, so you have your face done, now you can kind of add the details with the hair and the rest of the costume. So, I think I want to make my superhero a girl, and I want it to kind of look like me. So, I think I'm going to add her a little headband on the top. So, at the very top of her head right here, I'm going to add, it's almost going to be like a little triangle at the top of her head. That's going to be like a little headband. And then I need to add some hair. So if you remember how we did hair a couple weeks ago, I'm going to do kind of hair like mine and kind of do a little wavy line. So I'm going to go towards the top right here and kind of add a little wavy line. And I'm going to stop right there. And a wavy line on the other side. And then come right there. There we go. I can add some more wavy lines if I want to. But if you want your superhero to have curly hair or straight hair, it doesn't really matter. Okay, all right. Now, the basic part of my superhero is done. So she has her hair, her face, and her costume. But now I get to add any details that I want to add to my person. So I think I'm gonna add some stars to her costume. I think that would be really cool. And I'm gonna go ahead and start thinking about the colors that I wanna use. Um, I think since this superhero is going to kind of look like me, I'm just going to make it stuff that I like. So maybe I can use my favorite colors. Ooh, that star is looking funky. <laughs> Stars are kind of hard to draw, but I think it looks kind of funny if they don't look perfect. Okay, so I'm going to cover my shirt with some stars. Some really, really crazy stars. <laughs> And then I think I'll do some stripes on my pants. And I'll kind of need to decide what superpowers I want my superhero to have. Now, I think I want my superhero to be able to mm, maybe talk to animals and fly. Those are always two superpowers that I thought were really, really cool that I would want to have. Okay, I'll add some stripes to her pants. I'll add some crazy colors once I color her in. All right, so she's looking pretty cool right now. And you can always add a background. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna add a straight line at the bottom for the ground. And then I think I want her to be in maybe a city or something. So I can add some big lines behind her. So these can be like big buildings. Boop. Maybe I want to add some rectangles for some windows. Oop, that rectangle looked a little funky. Maybe I want a city behind her. Maybe you want to have your superhero flying in the sky and you can just draw some clouds. 
but I'm just gonna keep it kind of simple and add some crazy buildings and stuff in the back because that's pretty easy to draw. Okay, have some windows on either side. Now once you add the background however you like, then it is time to color your superhero. Now you can color them any way you want to. It doesn't matter, you decorate it however you want to. You need to decide what kind of superhero you want it to be. All right, now I think I'm done with the background and now I'm gonna take the rest of the time and I'm gonna color it, okay? So I will be back with my finished drawing. All right, my drawing is officially done. I can't wait for you to see my finished superhero. Okay, are you ready? Drum roll. Ta-da! <laughs> All right, so she is officially all colored in and she has her background done behind her. And this is really awesome. I love this project because you can totally make it your own. And I decided to go with stars and stripes for her costume, um, but I think it turned out awesome. Okay, so my superhero is officially done. So once you are finished coloring, you are officially done. Now remember you need to send a picture of this to me so that I know you did it. And your first project for January is officially done. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you all next week, okay? Bye!